सी ए इंटर प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग एमसीक्यूज अ प्रोसेस अकाउंट इज डेबिटेड बाय एब नॉर्मल गेन ओके द वैल्यू इज डिटर्मिंड एज ओके इक्वल टू वैल्यू ऑफ नॉर्मल लॉस नो वे नॉर्मल लॉस इज वैल्यूड एट स्क्रैप वैल्यू बट एब नॉर्मल गेन इज वैल्यूड एट कॉस्ट सो दिस कैन नॉट बी द आंसर बी कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड यूनिट्स लेस रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू ऑफ नॉर्मल लॉस आई कम बैक टू दिस C cost of good units less realizable value of actual loss. D equal to the value of good units less closing stock. Now D doesn't make sense to me at all. Now see abnormal gain. Once you calculate, it is taken to abnormal gain, and then in abnormal gain credit side we write down what is the cost of the goods that you have produced extra, and on the debit side you all write down what how much scrap value of normal loss you have lost. Logic being, if this was not abnormal gain, this would have been normal loss. If this would have been normal loss, I would have scrapped it at scrap value. But now that scrap value is lost, no, as such. So therefore, if on one hand you have saved the cost of those goods that you have produced extra, you have lost the scrap value of those units of those uh, units had they been your normal loss. So I guess this thing is told in point B, cost of good units. That you all have produced extra, obviously less realize less the realizable value of normal loss. So answer should be B over here. Yeah, that's the correct answer.